In fact, in fact, is that what you're saying? It depends on what, how you define a will. A will, let's say, we as a human being, how many wills do we think we have? Human being has one will. That's what you constitute a human. What is the definition of will? No, no. Without going into semantics. No, no. But it's very important to know what is a will. Now, because let's say, tell me, tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. Can you have a human being without a will? Can anyone be a human without a human will? Do all humans have to possess a human will? Yes, a will. So yes. So if you are, so how many will do we have? Before you continue, so as a human being, you must have a human will, otherwise you're not human. Good. Jesus Christ incarnated into a human body. This human must have a human will. As a divine person, does he have a will as well? So. You have a divine will and a human will. So how many will did this body possess? One or two? Okay, let me, let me answer. In fact, uh, the reason why you are confused... I'm not confused, I'm asking okay. you a question. The reason why you are confused is that... I'm not God, confused. So God, allow me to... This God, okay, sorry. This God, okay, God, the God that we know, let's say right now we are speaking, I'm sure he's, he's happy with what I'm saying. He may not have been with you. He may not be happy with you. He may be happy with someone else, not happy. God may be talking at the same time to an angel in heaven. He may be talking to a principality. He's getting, he, can, he may be saying something at the same time. Okay? So God, by definition, if you're talking about will, God, by definition, based on our understanding of will, he has many wills. Because it would be absurd to say God doesn't know what I'm talking I'm saying here, doesn't know he's maybe talking to an angel, maybe just doing anything at the same time. Okay? So it, that's why I was. I wanted to clarify what you mean by will. So based on what I see, Jesus Christ as we say, he has two nature, human and divine. So in fact, and how many two. wills did you have? Yes, I, I, I will not say two as that. He has more than two. That's what I can tell. So basically, all the controversy in the early Christianity, how many wills Jesus possessed? You are one of those heretical sects. You know, because you know, the Orthodox you know, Christians, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong. In fact, the Orthodox Christians believe. Orthodox Christians believe Jesus has one will. He doesn't That's have two you wills. To tell me what so you I'm asking you. How many, let's no. say, how many will does God have? <laughs> No, no, no. We are talking How about. Will does God have? I'm simplifying for you. There's a divine will. Yes, I'll come back to this point. Can I make my point? The, the, the divine, the divine has a divine will, right? How many will does? One moment. The divine has a divine will. Answer my question. How many will does God have? God is one. God has one will. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. How do you know? Because there's one God and there has one will. If you have two gods, there will be two different wills for two different okay, gods. So let's say God. Can I clarify? Let's say God. Can I clarify my point? Let my climate for point. Happy at the same time. Do you know what I mean talking, by will? Talking at the same time. You mean will means oh, I have my intention. Sometimes I intend to be okay. okay. No, no I'm, I, I, I mean will is what that you possess something of to act upon. Your intentions. You something of an ability to act. This I'll, I'll define will. It's ego. Okay, an ability, an ability. Who are you? Ego. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? Uh, um, do not, do not go I'm going to confusion. Let the discussion so continue. The discussion is this: the divine, in however way when he becomes want to happy or sad or angry, he has a divine will. However, that is manifest. How many is it? Look, the divine possesses will, right? How many will? Excuse me. Does the divine possess he, a will? He's not he happy. Okay. Look at, he's not happy. Let's I just say, told he's you. He's happy with me now. Yeah. He's is not happy over there. Okay. How many will? Where you get lost? When, when, God when Christ time. said, when Christ said, when Christ said, not according to my will, but according to your will. So that is talking about the one, divine will. One moment. Place. One moment. Christ said, yeah. not according to my will, but according to your will. Yeah. Tell me what this will means here. It's a divine will. <laughs> no. How many? Him. How many divine yes. wills? Why? He came for a purpose. No. I don't want to know your no, purpose. No, you, you are interrupting How many will? Is this how you take over the, the discussion in as I'm interrupting? He's talking, he's he's talking, the he's talking about will. when Amil? he came. Mm -hmm. Is Amil? How did, yeah. Sorry? Your name Amil? Ponsu. 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 When he was coming, he has a mission. And the mission was established by, by who? By this re infinite reality God. 
That's what he's talking about. So he came for a mission. Imagine, he's like... Uh, let, let me finish. No, no. Before you finish, he's before... Put, no, let, he's no, no, let me tell you. Before this. you finish, which I will give you the time to finish. No, I clarify this in two minutes. One moment. No, no excuse me. No, 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 no. One also, moment, one moment. It's going to be clear. How, how long do you think he's been here um, in the discussion? Five, ten minutes? minutes? Five, ten minutes, right. The question that we are supposed to answer, look, the reason why you keep on... I will come back to the point One, Excuse me, please. This is why I say you are not actually dealing with the subject now. The question I asked the lady, Denise, here was what? I already answered. No, no, you haven't. The question I asked about this, can your concept of God, who is eternal and everlasting with no end, cease to exist? You came to volunteer to... Excuse me, no, no, excuse me. You came volunteering to answer that question. That's why you came. And now look what we're discussing. We've gone to every single other tangent. No, excuse me, no, 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 no. Every single other tangent. So now, let me ask you it once more. And then we can go to the other subject. If you believe God is everlasting with no end, in your belief, can he cease to exist? Can he choose to cease to exist? Okay, in fact... If you, if you answer, then I can go to Denise. Can, can you give me time to answer okay. without... Go ahead. I, I didn't say yes or no. Answer it with explanation if necessary. Okay, in fact, it would be a logical contradiction based on the law that God gave us in that realm. When God created that realm, He created according to certain law, according to certain uh, things that He did. Now, if he had to do that in that realm, it would be a logical contradiction. But nothing is telling us that God has, doesn't have the power to, to discard everything, everything already created and do things differently than we know now. So that's why we as Christians, we say God can do anything. It's simply, we are not saying that he can do it in that realm. That realm is already defined. This is how God established it. That's why it would be a logical contradiction for him to do that in that realm. But God, as God, he could erase this and create a different logic, different way of thinking, and he could be able to do that. You understand? So now summarize your answer and say, in your concept of God, in his reality, can he choose to cease to exist? In the reality that he created now, if we not the reality he created. He in his in his reality, can he choose to cease to exist? The reality that we're talking about, the reality that not our reality, now. not our reality. In God's reality, can he choose to cease the, to exist? This is, a, this is something that we do not he know. He can choose to put you know, it aside. You know, you know what? He because cannot, we, can choose we says, the Bible says, the Bible says, Denise, the things revealed to us to belong to us. But the secret thing you know, is you know, you know, ver, you know, you know very well. That he can't you, choose no, to be nothing. No, you know very well, yes. and it is affirmed in your heart and yes. your mind, yes. that you will never accept a God to worship who chooses to cease to exist and there is no God and yet he's supposed to be ever, everlasting. But you will say, you will say, you will say, you will say, this is totally nonsensical. Yes? So instead of, instead of going in your semantics of logic, can God choose to Did you understand what I said? Can he give up and put aside and come into another form? No. Let me, let me, let me. This is what I wanted to answer. The reason, the reason, him is very clear in the reality that God no. created. This but is impossible. You have to. Ask Why is it impossible? Him in his way. Because this is the law, the way he created logic. So can God reality. create another reality in which he can cease to exist? We don't, it's possible, but we don't know. Okay, God good, good, good. Stop, 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 yeah. stop. So you're saying God can logically create a reality yeah. in which he can cease to exist? In the reality that we don't know about. Let's in the take, logic that we don't know. About. That's exactly what you're saying. So basically, you're saying. You affirm God is everlasting with no end. That being, based can I finish my? Based on the knowledge of we know can I? Can I? Reality, can I finish? Can I finish? That's what I, I wanted to make sure that you. Can I? Can point. I finish my point? Based on that logic ahead. now. Can I finish my point? Go ahead. Right. What do you affirm about God in His reality? Is God perfect? Based on what, yes. he, what based on what He revealed to us. Yeah. I was saying I was stating a Bible verse. Maybe you didn't. So understand. it's possible can, then. Can I just answer this? Go ahead. The Bible says the the God the things belong to, the hidden thing belong to God and the thing revealed 
to us belong to us so that we believe. So things that are hidden, you are asking questions that are hidden because these belong to God. We are talking about the reality that He created. In that reality, we have our logic, our consciousness. This is this is why we are having this discussion. But the question you're asking is a different reality question. I cannot answer that based on that statement of the Bible because this is a, a thing that was not revealed to us. You so, so look. Okay. Nice semantics played here, but what you need to look, look, what you need to, what you need to understand is this: if you affirm, if you affirm from this reality, that means it's possible in another reality, God is actually twenty million, right? In your belief, in your belief, in your belief, gods. Oh, twenty million gods. In your, in your belief, because you only know a one set of reality, which is not actually the real reality. Because it's possible there's another reality where God is actually 20 million. But one, one, one moment, your, your logical conclusion is this. I can only talk about what God has revealed here. In fact, God could be the God who has a mother. In, a, in, in, his, that, in our reality, excuse God me. is one. You're not listening, are you? He is one. You're not listening, are you? Okay, so you have to be clear. I want you to listen. Don't twist. I you want... Listen no, I, you're not listening. But you know, the reason why I do sorry, that... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Some of the videos, they excuse edit me. the videos. That's why... No, no, again, I again. Uh, you see, you see, videos. if this some is... Some of the videos, they edit. Uh, look, look, look. That's why I'm doing this. Look, look, look. I want you to be oh, clear. It's very interesting how, instead of instead of discussing this on a logical way, you come up with an excuse saying, oh, you edit your videos. Uh, no, very, SC very, Dawa very... edit the videos. Um, I can prove it. So, SC Dawa, Sam Dawa and others, they edit the videos, right? I Good. Prove it. So, we will ask you proof later what they edited. Good. Now, let's return to the subject. In your reality here, you believe God is a three-in-one God. No. That's what? Three-in-one. Three-in-one. Yeah. But... Yeah. No, in the reality of in the reality of God, which he hasn't told you, it's possible God has a mother, who is also another God. Like one moment, one moment. Why are you saying I'm talking about this reality? Don't you understand what I'm saying? I'm not talking about this reality, which God has revealed to you. The hidden realities, which God hasn't revealed to you, it is possible, according to your arguments, that God has a mother, and God worships that mother. Yeah. You want me to answer that? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, I say the the reality that God revealed to us. Forget this reality. Manifested. No, Forget this reality. This. But I'm not talking about this reality. But did you not hear I me? I cannot. Did you hear the verses I, I gave you? But did you hear my question? My question here, is not to do with this reality. On thing that we excuse don't me. Know. I didn't ask you about this. I said it's not like about. Be, excuse be me. Listen. From what this I am not talking about this reality. Is. This reality. But that's what I'm talking about. You. I'm talking about. Remember. This remember what you said. Remember the question I asked. In this reality, God cannot cease to exist, according to his arguments. For sure. But in another reality, God can. No, no, I, I say, but listen carefully. Okay, let, let's I listen say, one more time. I say, we don't know. It's Is possible. it possible? It's a possibility that we don't know. Good, it's possible. That's what he's we saying. We don't know. Excuse That's me. What he said. Listen, you know when what you I'm say it's possible, possible, do you know what it means? I said, I said. What does it mean it's possible? God, that it's possible that he can no cease to exist. Let's say before okay. we existed. Let me ask you again. We do not let me exist. let me ask you we again. Have no idea Excuse what's me. going to happen. Let me ask you again. No idea. And Excuse we don't me. Speculate listen, on listen. That. So to to discuss it to be fruitful, I want to ask you this. In the other hidden realities, in your arguments, is it possible that he can cease to exist? I tell you no. Not so. I know that. I, I know that. I agree with you. I, tell you I agree no. with you. My but sister, the here, logic. who I came to you. tell you a total different belief my system? My sister. But so, listen, one moment, one moment. I, I agree. I answer your question. I don't so, know why so you now, are coming So back. now, can you I answer say, Denise? Yes. Is it possible in other hidden realities that he can cease to exist if he chooses to? You're asking me a question. Hmm? You're asking answer, me? Uh, to answer Denise. Because I said, okay, I don't think a God my, who my, never was created. My, my, my sister, yes. my sister. Yes, go ahead. Okay, Tell me God created us in that reality with our logic, yes. with our intelligence, yes. and with everything that exists. Yes. And this is what we know. And he revealed himself to us based on the way he is. Okay? Yes. So if God decides, one day we will raise everything again and do something totally different. We have no idea of that. Why the Bible says the hidden things belong to God. We don't speculate on that. Masu wants me to speculate on this kind of hidden reality. So Masu, I gave you the Bible verse. I will. I will. Can you answer the question? I answer the question. I will not speculate. So is it possible? 
I already answered that you can Okay, you so you're saying, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you what I've heard. Or, let, I already answered excuse that. Excuse me, listen, let me tell you what I've heard. Answer. Your answer is, I'm not going to speculate because I don't know. Isn't that what it said? Yeah. Good. So when I asked you about question about, can God cease to exist in your belief if he chooses to? He says what? Before, yes, possible. When you say possible, it means, don't, don't excuse, me, excuse, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, in a reality, Ex excuse that me, is excuse me, in other realities, you would say it's possible. That's what you said earlier on. You said in other realities, that possible. we don't know about. That we don't know. Yes, we don't that's, know. What that's, what that's what he said. That's what he said. That's what he said. We have that's no idea. Said. Yes, that's and that's why you disagreed with him and I disagreed with him. Because ceasing to exist means what? A being that ceases to exist is not an eternal, everlasting being. See, this, okay. this is where I, I have to tell my brother here. Okay, in all honesty, like I said, I'm not here to argue. He, he, I said it right in the beginning. Where you're right, I will tell you where I know I know. I don't know everything. But from what God says about himself, the one who, Alpha and Omega, beginning, no end. Beginning and no end. But he entertains so, end. He said, and that's where I'm going. By what he said, I have no beginning and I have no end. Good. Right. Therefore, in that so light, let's... in that light, I have to answer you and say, uh, he has no end. Good. Yes. So far, now, no, I, I, I agree with you. So I agree with you, Denise. Now, because in this reality, why is it not possible for God to cease to exist in this reality, in this realm? In this, in this realm. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't be a logical contradiction. No, 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 no. Where, 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 where we started from? That's what he's saying. Where we started from? Mm -hmm. And I want you to remember, I said to give up is not to say you don't exist. It's to take another form, and that's where we got stuck. And I said, but I'm not saying about giving up. I'm saying being non-existent. And I said to you, that doesn't happen. Why not? Is the question. Because he said, because it's illogical, he said, I, I, illogical? I, I, because it would be illogical what he said. Illogical, good, good. Illogical. illogical. Okay, let's, let's understand what you mean by illogical. But that doesn't mean he can't well, give up. Please, 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 please. Not about giving up. Let's, let's understand your reasonings now yes. of not accepting God ceasing to exist. It's because God is everlasting with no end. It's illogical to say he can have an end, right? No, because he said so. Good. If you are all knowledgeable, meaning you know everything all the time, all the future, it's illogical not to know. No, it isn't. Because if I give up my right to know, and I have a right, and I say I don't want to be equal with you, I want to come down here, I give it up, that's not illogical. So basically... Because, because, yeah, I, no, sister, no, no, because I still exist, but I exist in human yeah. form. I haven't poof, gone Your away. Your answer is very good. You I, see, you know, I'll ask you a question. No, no, and just do, you, a do you know God has some Listen, essential attributes? On, Name me some of the essential no, and no, non-essential no, no, attributes of see, God. You always ask me questions, you never answer. When you're right, I say to you, you're right. No, look, look, look. So I say, answer me. Can you agree that he can give up his deity, whatever it is, whatever it is he gave up in the Philippians read, and come as a human being? And he's still in existence. Does my answer? Constitute? My answer is, a perfect God can never be other than perfect. The moment he becomes imperfect, he wasn't perfect to begin with. A God who is unknowledgeable, by definition, can never be less than unknowledgeable. If you have a being that becomes less than unknowledgeable, they were not unknowledgeable to begin with. They were not unknowledgeable to begin with. So, uh, let me explain to also? you about the Joseph aspects. Yes. Let me explain to you about the Joseph. Okay. We're not going to go to Joseph. We're talking about no, 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 no. we're talking about a belief about God, about yes, Jesus. No. Can I ask you a question after that? Also? You are hmm? mixing up the word imperfect. Sorry? Imperfect. You are not understanding that to give up my deity does not make me imperfect. The imperfectness is because of the sin of Adam that came through. That's why he didn't have Joseph as his father. What makes God because perfect? Of the what goes make Okay. What makes God he perfect? Is, he is. No, no, yes, no, 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 no. You said, you remember what you said, Denise? Yes. God can give up his attributes of perfection. Yes. So, so which attributes of perfection can he give up? You're saying God's attributes, are they perfect to begin with? Yes. Good. So if he gives up his attributes, are they still perfect? The attributes are still perfect. Yes. But if he gives them up? Yes, the attributes are still perfect. So, to give so, up doesn't mean the attributes are perfect. So, so God can separate himself from his attributes? Yes, in your belief? Up. He gave up, yes, he gave so up. So you are saying, we have a God yes. who exists yes. with his attributes which are inherent within him, 
but he can actually give give up his attributes. Oh, he's already done that. Yeah, and it makes sense to you. Yes, it makes sense. So if God is so loving. Let me let me bring this example again. Let me had to come down into please please. Let me bring let me bring this example again. Does not exist. So you have God who is one of the attributes of God is loving, right? Loving, loving. So God can give up his attributes of love and become less than loving. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So one moment. One moment. Okay. One moment. God, according to your belief, can give up his attribute of love and be less than all loving. You showed me in Philippians, not less than loving. No, you see, you. But you said so. You no, can. No, 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 so he cannot. No, 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 my brother. No, no, no. Listen to me carefully. Mm -hmm. Cameras, listen to me. To give up your attributes does not mean that they are imperfect or they are unlovely or unlovely. To give them up means nothing of that. If I give up my child, it doesn't mean that I'm unloving or uncaring. Uh, There's a reason. Maybe, no, no, no. Maybe you didn't understand no, my no, point. No, no, I understood because you are equating. What does it mean giving up? up? You are giving up. What does it mean giving up? I am not going to bring okay. this with me. What does it mean here? giving up? It means I'm leaving them there sure. and I'm not bringing them so, to so, earth with so, me. So, for example, they are still lovely. Wait, 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 wait. They are still perfect. Wait, wait, wait. They are still good. No, Denise, you know, Denise. Let me finish also now. Come on. I want to understand giving up. No, no, no. So that, that's what I'm saying. Understand it for me and then I'll hear from you. To give up doesn't mean they become rotten, bad, ugly, anything. No. I have given them up there because it is unjust and unfair and I cannot be equitable to you if I come in as a God with all my knowledge. Then I cannot be your brother. I cannot be your savior. Let me. Because Let I, me clarify. Uh, you know what? When I you say no when you say giving up, imagine now, imagine now I am a person. Okay. No, uh, I'm, Denise, I'm, listen. I'm a person. I possess an attribute of love. So if I give up my attribute of love and I leave it there in a box, locked with a key, now can I still love someone if I give up and locked it? You in the 